what's going on everyone uh welcome back to my channel again as usual got an unboxing but i'm actually going to take photos of this too uh so i went and got myself a wireless 65 percent rog felchin felchin mechanical keyboard in cherry red switches switches kind of wanted the arrow keys but i wanted to have a smaller form factor just to have some more desk space and yeah i can set some macros up with this too so plus product photos um just to get some content going uh during another lockdown but uh no surprise let's get stuck into this always good old snap on knife Foam padding to protect the keyboard. I'm just going straight into this because I want to take photos and stuff. A how-to book to set up the keyboard. A couple of ROG stickers. A warranty card. So a USB-A Type-A to Type-C adapter. A braided uh, cable Type-C to Type-A uh, with a ROG uh, Velcro cable tie. Pretty small form factor, 65%. I was umming and ahhing between this and the Corsair, but I still wanted to use the arrow keys. Have the couple extra buttons on the side, like the delete, the page up and down. Never tried cherry red switches before. The only me mechanical keyboard I've ever had is the Corsair K60, I think it is, with brown switches. So this is the first time using red switches. Um, cool thing with this keyboard. Oh, I've got a satisfying pill actually. Well, oh, not much of a pill. Failed. So you get little kick legs out here, get a little dongle as well to store away. Hey, it's magnetic. It just pops in on and off switch, a type C there. So you can use it with the cable in or you can use it wireless. RGB, got a slide um, here so you can use it for showing your battery level as well on the keyboard as well as the, uh, you can adjust this side button for volume, etc. through the uh, armory crate. Same with all the RGB or through the armory crate. You do get a case with it, so if you're gonna travel, great for when I use it on the laptop, I guess, when I take my laptop so I can do some editing. Um, when I'm editing at work, as well as like, I plan to use it on my primary, like on the PC. So this does act as a cover to protect the switches, but as well as you can use it as like a little stand slash uh, diffuser as well. And what's cool is that they actually gave you a bit of a cut out there. That really did have the die, didn't it? What's cool is that they gave you a little cut out here on the case, so that way you can still run the cable through as well. I've never used cherry red switches before. Apparently, from what I'm aware, these are pre-lubed. The conventional enter isn't the standard size, so you won't be able to do too many of a too much of a key swap going on here but apparently they are PBT keycaps, so they will be, well, they won't be fading out or um, they won't be fading out or wearing out anytime soon. I'll do a, um, I'll quickly connect this all up. Keen as to use this, and then I can do some quick product photos uh, for some upcoming content. Connected this up or anything yet. The RGB looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, my old Corsair keyboard and the actual size difference between a full size with numpad and just this uh, the Asus 65% keyboard. There's a huge size difference. I've never bought anything like this before, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I'm just gonna give it a try and... So I'll do a quick sound test with the cherry reds. Um... This wouldn't be one of those, uh, well, so far I'm actually enjoying this keyboard even though it's so small. Um, but I need this to be photography based. So, so for something actually like 
more versatile and like how I wanted it. Like, you know, I wanted arrow keys, a uh, small keyboard, wireless, um, mechanical. There wasn't a lot to choose from in terms of all that into one combination. So I'm gonna go and take some photos of this because I want this to be all photography based. So let's go to take some photos. We'll see what kind of shots we can make out of this. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if I can improve or what I can improve on. Or if you guys wanna see other stuff, um, hopefully you guys can leave me a comment so, and be descriptive so that way I know what to improve on. Don't just give me like a one word response. The photos, if you wanna see them, uh, they will be on my Facebook. Uh, I'll put the link below in the description to the album uh, as well as to all my other social media. So be sure to follow, like my other pages. Um, Hopefully more content and stuff to come. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.